What is going on everyone, Jeff Blute here, back with another video for you guys. And today I just wanted to make a video talking about placements and specifically Spotify playlists um, or just really any playlist in general, whether it be on Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, Google Play, any of those really, um, and how you can do it for free. And that's a big, that's the big, uh, the big prize, the big money winner right there is a lot of people, they want to get their music out there and they don't have a lot of money to do it and they don't know what to do other than spamming the comments of people's posts, which really just kind of pisses everybody else off. And I hate to say it, but if you're doing that right now, stop it, get some help. So yeah, so let's get into it. Um, I have been making beats for close to 10 years now. And I've recently started putting up my beats on the Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. If you guys want to know how to get your beats in instrumentals or just your music as an artist out there, uh, what you want to use is DistroKid. And DistroKid is a distributor that only costs $20 a year and you can upload unlimited amounts of music. And I'm sure you guys are wondering like, why should I use DistroKid when I got CD Baby, uh, TuneCore, uh, United Masters, which is a free one. Um, and the reason is, United Masters is a perfect example of this. It is free. There is no money up front that you have to pay, but they are going to take a percentage of your royalties on the back end. Um, and a lot of the other ones will too, such as CD Baby and TuneCore. And the way I know that is, first off, you can Google it and find articles about it. It's in there. Um, it's in their terms and conditions if you look it up. And I've also had experience using CD Baby myself when I played in a band back in the day. We used CD Baby and I tried to get the band to switch and they didn't want to. Um, but regardless of all that, DistroKid is the way to go if you want to upload your music. And the biggest one is it'll get into places like TikTok as well, which is a really popular app right now, um, which is great because you can get people to dance to your song, etc. But anyways, Spotify playlist, that's a big one for me. I've been submitting a lot of my beats and songs I've been producing through this site that I'm gonna show you guys. And I've even gotten a few placements myself, so I'm hoping to see what the streams uh, will be after this 30 day run. Now keep that in mind. Uh, typically any sort of placement in sort of a playlist is gonna only be for 30 days unless they specifically say permanent placement, um, which is always great. But um, unfortunately a lot of these curators they, they want to keep it fresh, they want to keep it moving, they don't want to have a million songs in one playlist, they want to have a certain amount that people will actually get through. So real quick, I'm going to plug in my laptop because it is dying. And it would be really sad if the computer died on us while recording this video. Alrighty, so the site that I use for this stuff is called Submit Hub. And so we're going to just type it in to Google here, Submit Hub. Search that, it's gonna be the first one that pops up. And it, right away, since I'm already signed in, it's gonna take me to my submissions page of all the songs that I've submitted so far. Um, if you're new to it, you're gonna to wanna to sign up first, and it's a free account, so just sign up, put in your information, and then you can basically start uploading your music. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. These are the songs I've put up so far. So this song is from my first beat tape that I put out. This is another single I put out in the beginning of the year, ironically called Stay Home. And if you guys are wondering, I made this song back in November of 2019. And I that was long before um, the Rona happened and I didn't realize that that was even gonna happen. So the irony of this song is pretty real. And then this new single that I just dropped back on Friday, um, this one, is another one I've been submitting. So here you'll see the campaigns and basically what the campaigns are is, um, how do I explain the campaign? I'm actually not sure what the campaign means. Um, I think it means how many times you've sent it out or something like that. Um, yeah, how many times you've actually submitted it and then it'll list how many curators in that submission that you made. So for this single, uh, two recipients, recipients, excuse my bad talking.
so yeah, for this one, I sent it out to two different people, um, both of them which made a decision, and both of them were approved. Um, now that doesn't always happen. Your song is gonna get denied, and I do wanna make a disclaimer before we continue further, is that you are gonna see people denying your song, and I don't want you guys to get discouraged because I will get, I get tons and tons and tons of denials for the songs. Um, like you'll see on this one, I sent it to three people, two decisions were made, no approvals, so that means basically they, they chose not to use the song. It doesn't mean your song's bad. It doesn't, you know, I don't want you to get discouraged and completely quit music, but it doesn't always fit what people are looking for. And that's okay. The, you just gotta keep shooting your shot. You know, there's a, that famous quote that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. You know, I think basketball is like the perfect representation of that. Like you're shooting hoops, you're gonna miss some of those shots that you make. And it's okay because when you drain that three pointer into the basket, you're gonna go nuts and you're gonna feel good about it. And it's gonna be worth those 100 shots that you made just to nail that one. So don't get discouraged if you get a lot of denials when you're doing this. So um, yeah, again, so let's see. I, for this last song, the very first one here that I put up, I sent it out to nine different people. Four decisions were made. It only got approved twice. So out of those nine people, I made two shots. And that's pretty good. I'll take it because now those uh, that song is in a couple playlists. My streams are going up somewhat. And I'm, I'm excited to see that. Um, I think... Oh, I do have another song here. Um, yeah, again, so I sent it out to six people. Five of those people made decisions to not use the song. And unfortunately, it is what it is. Eventually, I think that song will end up in a playlist. And it'll be worth it. But, you know, if you can do this the freeway... Um, then there's really no like risk or anything like that. Um, now there is, so there's the freeway and then there's the paid way with Submit Hub. Uh, and then there's kind of a, um, a trade off to get some credits. So how Submit Hub works, when you make an account, you get credits. And you have standard credits and you have premium credits. Now the standard credits, every single day you get two credits. Now they don't roll over, so if you're gonna do this the freeway, every day you wanna go in and submit, make two submissions so that you use up those credits. Um, because it's not gonna roll over to the next day, meaning like you're not gonna have four credits tomorrow and six credits the next day and so on and so on. Um, basically, you have two shots to make every day for free. It's a little trickier with the free ones, I will admit. Um, some people won't listen to your submission, other people will, and they can deny it without any any reasoning why they chose to deny it. Um, now you can buy premium credits, which I have done. Um, I found better results with buying credits only because if you're using a premium credit, they have to listen to your song for a certain amount of time and they have to give you feedback if they choose not to use your song. So um, it makes those denials a little easier to cope with um, unless they just completely rip your song apart. But most people just say, um, you know, great song, blah, 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 blah. It just didn't fit what I'm looking for. And that's fine. That happens. Um, so yeah, you have premium credits and standard credits. Premium credits, you can buy them. Um, I think it's like 27 bucks for 30 credits. So you're paying a little less than a dollar per credit. Um, and there's all sorts of discounts when you buy more and more. Um, now the other way you can get credits is by the hot or not section. Um, basically, yeah, you're going to rate songs for other artists. They rate you back. And for every 10 you rate, one of your songs can be rated five times. Uh, you can also earn free premium credits if you leave feedback when rating a song. So, um, you know, this requires a little bit of work, but if you don't have money and you have time to sit here and go through people's songs, then that's a great way to get some more premium credits. I have a friend that takes like 15 minutes out of his day every single day and he goes through and he rates people and he gets credits so he can submit his stuff. Um, it's, it's a great way. I think it's an excellent trade-off. You're helping the community of artists and giving feedback and just being a part of the community and you're also earning credits that's going to help you push your music. So uh, I think that's a genius idea right now that Submit Hub has done. But if you don't have time to sit there and rate people's songs or you're selfish and you just want to focus on yourself 
then you can buy credits and start submitting. So once you have some credits or you're gonna use the free credits, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the songs. So submit songs and you're gonna select the song that you want. And then you can decide if you wanna use your standard credits or if you wanna use your premium credits. And you'll see right here, uh, with the premium credits, you're guaranteed a response within 48 hours. Your submission filters to the top. They must listen for at least 20 seconds and you get at least 10 words of feedback if your submission is declined. Uh, and if you don't want feedback, there's also an option for 90 seconds minimum listen time instead. So me, it, I think I'd rather the feedback than having them listen to the song longer because if they don't like the song and if it's not gonna fit, that those extra seconds aren't really gonna make that big of a difference, I think. Um, and I'd rather hear feedback from people. So you choose your credits and then you choose who you wanna send it to. Um, me personally, I'm always sending it to different curators, bloggers, and playlists because that's what I'm after. Um, if you are looking to get signed by a record label or featured by a record label, you can choose that as well. Um, I'm very independent with my music, so uh, that's not what I'm looking for personally. Uh, but you would hit next, and then how important is the quality of written feedback? It's quite important. Um, like I said, I like to hear feedback. And then permissions and copyright. Um, I really think everybody should choose this second one here where you give them permission to use it, but you wanna make sure that you're earning money from it. You don't want anyone to profit off your music that you're sending them. Um, let's see. Yeah, like the first one here, you give them permission, but they can monetize it. Um, I don't want anyone monetizing my music if it's not coming back to me. That And that's just me. That's, you know, you can choose what selection you wanna make, but I recommend that everybody just chooses the second one here. And then you're gonna select the genre, um, and they have a lot of good subgenres. If you're a producer like me, um, you can actually go in and pick study beats, lo-fi hip hop, instrumental hip hop, um, which is a lot of what I submit. Uh, but they've got everything from world music to metal and rock to EDM. And once you get into that, now it's gonna give you the list of curators um, based off of your selection of genre and what you want. Um, so it's just gonna take a minute to load here. And boom, here we go. So you're gonna start scrolling through and you're gonna see a bunch of curators. So we got Jason Aaron, who is an Instagram influencer. That's a new thing, um, which is kinda cool because basically with Instagram they can share, they can make a post and share your song right to the post with a little link that people can click on it and it's gonna take them right over to the song with Spotify. Um, but you really want to like, I wouldn't just start submitting to everyone. You really want to go through and kind of look at what their genres are, what their playlists are, what their view count is, because like, let's see, average likes is about 500 to 700 likes per post. Story views, you get 1200 to 1900 on average, which is pretty good. Um, so if he were to use your song in a post like this, once it loads, you can kind of see it. This might take longer than I want it to, but you can kind of see that there's a post here that he made and he shared the song for people to, to hear it and click on it if they choose so. Um, and yeah, you can keep going through. You're gonna see a lot of Instagram influencers because that's a new thing they just rolled out. So um, they're really trying to get the Instagram influencers on here. Um, but yeah, so just go through. You wanna find anyone that is has some playlists. So that was a blogger. Let me see if I can find a, here we go, Spotify Playlister. This is Chill Select. Um, you can see how many times they've approved, shout outs, how many submissions they're receiving. So you can see some of these people are getting like 30,000 submissions on average. And that's why the uh, premium credits come in handy or are good to invest in because if you're doing the free credits, the chances of him getting to that one are very slim. So. If you really want to shoot your shot, I would get some premium credits, even if you do the hot or not, uh, to earn them. However you get it, that's totally fine. Um, so yeah, this one, 
This is one I would probably submit to myself because I notice he has a lo-fi playlist, a couple of them actually, and he's also got some trap playlists and fresh rap playlists. So if you're a hip hop artist, if you're a hip hop producer, then I would totally check these out. Um, how do I mute my notifications? All right, so again, we got another Spotify playlister, and it looks like he's got a lo-fi hip-hop, a rainy lo-fi hip-hop playlist. I think I actually submitted to both of these playlists. I don't think I've been accepted yet, but, you know, it's there. Um, we have more Instagram influencers, so I think you guys get the point. Just go through, see which ones match up to uh, your style of music, and you'll have a much better chance of actually getting into that playlist. Um, because if you're submitting EDM songs to a guy with a trap playlist, then you're kind of just wasting your time and your credits. So just be smart about it. That's all. Just read, read the screen. But yeah, so that's basically, you know, you guys can go and get started today for free submitting your stuff to playlists. And even if you pay, it's much better because I hear a lot of people um, talking about uh, the post you see on Instagram where it's like, get your song into Rap Caviar for $20. And um, I haven't tried any of those, but they come off very much a scam. And I just find it hard that, you know, a big playlist like Rap Caviar is going to take $20 submissions um, to get into a playlist so large. Um, but maybe it does work. If you guys have had experience with those ads and they do actually work, please leave a comment below and let me know because I might actually try it myself. Um, I just haven't shot my shot on that. Shot my shit, shoot. Shoot my shot on, uh, I'm gonna stop with the whole basketball thing, but I haven't submitted to those yet and I just don't feel comfortable with those. Um, ever since I found Submit Hub, I've just been using that and I think this week I've gotten placed into four different playlists, which is great for my new single, um, which reminds me, if you guys haven't heard my new single, Let's Go, uh, I will leave a link in the description that way you guys can check it out. Let me know what you think and all that fun stuff. And again, if you guys wanna get your songs onto Spotify and Apple Music, check out DistroKid. I do have a link below that's gonna give you guys a 7% discount. So it only costs you about $17 for the year to upload as much music as you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I try to keep it very short. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions at all or if you want me to check out your music. Uh, that does remind me, I am working on some playlists right now for producers and artists. So if you guys have music that's already on Spotify that you want to have featured in one of my playlists, just drop it in the comments or shoot me a message with the link to the song and I will get it added. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.